to come across a funnel web in your backyard, uh, there's definitely a couple of things you can do. We'd love them here at the Reptile Park, so catching them is really, really easy. Uh, all you simply need is a jar. If they are running around like this, all you have to do is get someone to keep an eye on it. You know, run inside, grab your jar, and then simply sit the jar in the spider's path, and it will run straight into the jar. Very, very easy. Now, they can't jump and can't climb smooth surfaces, so she won't be able to get out of this jar. So then all you do, lid on the jar, and then once you've got her in the jar, what we actually need when you hand them in is some damp soil in the bottom of the jar. So we need her to survive and funnel webs need moisture. So a bit of damp soil, or if you can't do damp soil, a damp cotton bud, that's what's gonna keep her alive. And we've got plenty of drop off points around. You know, you can bring them up here to the reptile park if you like, or we've got uh, plenty down around Sydney. Uh, Hornsby Hospital's probably our biggest drop off point. It's very important that people you know, uh, do catch them, of course only if you feel safe and comfortable to do so because we need these spiders for the anti-venom program. Without them we won't have anti-venom so it's very very important. You know, That spider that you catch in hand in today could save someone's life in 18 months time. So when we milk the funnel webs what we want them to do is rear up and produce droplets of venom. So we irritate them a bit with the tongs or the pipette. Hopefully that venom drips down the fangs and then we just gently suck it off just like that. You've got a few other spiders in your backyard that can look very similar to a funnel web. Um, so you've got the funnel webs, uh, your trapdoors and mouse spiders all live in a little hole under the ground. Normally a trapdoor does have that little flap over the top but not always. Um, but your trapdoor spider is generally a um, dark brown uh, it's not shiny like the funnel web, um, which you can sort of tell the difference there. Funnel webs are generally black and shiny, can be brown, but they'll always be shiny, whereas your trapdoors, normally brown and quite dull. Uh, your mouse spiders, though, they are black and shiny as well, uh, but they've got a big fat body and tiny little legs. They can look a little bit funny, uh, but again, it's quite tricky to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. 